Hello everybody, my name is Liv and today I'm showing you my attempt at doing a 24 hour readathon on Halloween. So I got up quite early and looked through my stack of books that I had chosen specifically for this readathon and right away Fever Dream by Samantha Schwibbin caught my eye. I'll show you all of the books I chose later on in this video, but basically I just chose spooky contemporary fiction. And when I had decided on Fever Dream, I spent about two hours reading in bed and made it all the way through it in one sitting. It was just that good. By then it was raining, which I actually welcomed, because it was just another excuse to stay cozy and read, plus the sound of the rain makes me feel just so calm. The book I decided to read next was The Red Parts by Maggie Nelson. And I popped into my favorite cafe just to treat myself to breakfast there. It was the right weather for a hot chocolate and some baked goodies. I'm very much a sweet tooth, so I basically just fall face forward into everything caramel related they have there every time I visit. Then I picked up my book and spent an hour or so reading, without any worry in the world, because it was a bank holiday here in Germany and I had the day off. I reached page 100 before I made my way back home. Good morning everyone, or hello, good afternoon. I don't know what time it is, probably around noon. Um, yeah, this is the read ton And um, I thought I'd quickly talk to you about um, the books that I want to read or have already read. So I started the day off with Fever Dream by Samantha Schweblin and holy moly, I think this is one of my favorite books now. I read it in two hours, one sitting. I couldn't put it down. It's not very long, it's I think, yeah, 150 pages. Whew. So as it's very short, I don't want to give away too much, but there is a woman in a hospital and there's a boy by her bedside and she knows she's dying and she basically remembers what happened over the last few days and what led to her ending up in the hospital and she knows she's gonna die it has like supernatural kind of horror elements not sure if it's horror or just like supernatural and then also environmental horror it's like mixing these two parts is really really great and on the front it says by Lisa Tadeo who wrote Three Women if you know that one she says the book I wish I had written and after I finished this I was like yeah me too Lisa me too it's just amazing um now I am reading the red parts and I was about 50 pages in now I'm at page 100 and it is Maggie Nelson's recount of a trial that was reopened 30 years after the crime and the crime was that somebody murdered her aunt and her family has been dealing with the fallout of that ever since super captivating she also wrote bluets if you know that one i love that one and i really like this one it's amazing she's such a great writer then i might just quickly move on to study for obedience and as you can see i'm already more than halfway through it's a bit tough to read because the language is very complex and elaborate and lurid but the topic of this is a woman moving in with her brother in a distant country she always wants to be obedient to everyone around her and that leads to her doing weird things but also weird things happening so in front it says soon after her arrival a series of inexplicable events occurs collective bovine hysteria the demise of a ewe and her newly born lamb a dog's phantom pregnancy 
a potato blight. She notices that the local suspicion about incomers in general seems to be directed with some intensity at her and she senses a mounting threat that lies just beyond the garden gate. So it's kind of a witch hunt but for now I'm not really sure if it's mostly happening in her head. So I think um, I have about 80 more pages to go so I want to read that next. And then I have three more books but I'm not sure if I will get to them. This one is a modern haunted house. Then there's another one that I'm already halfway through. It's Woman Eating and it's about a girl who has an internship at a very famous gallery but she's also a vampire. <laughs> and she can only eat blood but she hungers very much for human foods especially the kind of foods that her father who's deceased used to eat and finally i have monstrillo so maybe i'll get to this one maybe not but as you can see i have options and i'll just go back to reading now so as you can see, I got some snacks and curled up on the couch to continue reading the red parts. The snacks, by the way, were some sweets that I forgot the name of and some teriyaki flavored almonds, which were so good. I love snacking while reading, but at some point I get so wrapped up in my book that I forget to snack, which you can see happening in this clip. Then I went out for a little walk in the park, because I had been sitting down for hours by now and I wanted to move around. And as I had finished the red parts, I brought Study for Obedience with me, I read about 20 pages and then walked some more. The fog had just started rising and it was just so eerie to look at, perfect for Halloween. Back at home, I was no longer in the mood to read, so I picked up my knitting. At first I wanted to listen to an audiobook just to get some reading in, but then I thought, no, I want a break, so I take a break. Readathons are for fun, not for being brutal to myself and forcing myself to read when I don't want to. So instead I listened to a podcast because that's what I was in the mood for. And then I felt like reading again. So I put on some music and made myself comfortable on my reading chair. By then it was already quite late and I was very tired, so I knew I wouldn't make it to the 24 hour mark. Hello everyone, so it is a couple of days later, but I just wanted to finish the books that I started, which are the study for obedience and woman eating and i thought it's just fair because i spend a lot of time doing my readathon not reading and also it's my readathon and i make the rules if i want to finish the books now i'm gonna finish them i'll go get reading and then i'll have a final check in with you i will see you in a bit i finished study for obedience which i hadn't managed during the halloween readathon and i'm glad i didn't push myself too hard because then i would have enjoyed it much less it can be intimidating seeing people online read massive amounts of books in a very short time but this is not a competition where the output can be measured in numbers generally i feel like numbers had a big moment in the online book sphere but people are becoming more conscious of it i myself have sometimes fallen victim to this and still struggle with dnfing books it's just some part in of me which is wanting me to finish the book no matter the toll it takes on me and my mental health but i've been getting much better Okay, I am done and this is the final check-in of the readathon, I guess. And I finished four books. I'm very happy that I finished all of these, even though it was in more than one day. But I think I started off very strong. Fever Dream was definitely my favorite and is now on my favorite book list as well. Then I very much enjoyed the red parts. Great read. Study for Obedience was a bit tougher to get through. 
but still good, I would say. Not my favorite, but it was okay. And then I finished Women Eating, and that one was also okay. It picked up quite a bit towards the end. I really liked the ending. Four books done, and this video is done as well. So if you like this video, then please like and subscribe, because I am a very small YouTube channel still, and yeah, I would be very happy. See you in the next video. Bye!